I think it'll make a significant impact. Uh, Project Fairfield has dismantled a significant crime group with a vast scope of operations throughout southwestern Ontario with links through Alberta and Quebec, uh, South, uh, South American and uh, Middle East countries. I think in terms of impact is that the crime group in this case had uh, little regard for the victims of crime, many of which had their vehicles stolen from their driveways in the middle of the night, some of which contained uh, valuable uh, personal items. Certainly it's, it's a challenge, multi-jurisdictional investigations do pose their challenges, but that's why uh, it's more important than ever that our policing partners, we work together and collaborate our resources and, and maximize our efforts. Fortunately, the, the group can be back at it in a hurry. So. In this case, we feel we've dismantled the crime group and there'll be a significant uh, positive impact for the public and uh, investigations like this will act as a deterrent to others. Yeah, so the vulnerabilities are unlike they ever have been in the past. With with the advancements of technology, uh, basically vehicles are computers now and uh, that opens vulnerabilities. So uh, criminals are also very, very sophisticated. Uh, they evolve in time. They are constantly looking for solutions, looking for ways in which vehicles are stolen. And, uh, and that's why it's such a, it's rewarding when law enforcement have projects like this, uh, Project Fairfield and, and others where they're actually identifying these organized crime groups. Because you mentioned earlier about the supply and the demand. While the demand is high, these will continue. So taking out these organized crime groups uh, will, will have a significant impact uh, down the road for, and protect all vehicles owners.